hello everyone and welcome back. It's time to head up to the 2022 Duck Camp. This year at Duck Camp will be my dad's 68th year. He just turned 79 on August 24th. Teresa is not going to be going up there. You know how they had the three Chesapeakes, they had Triton, Hades, and Kronos. My Triton passed away, he was getting pretty old, and then just a couple, of, then this happened like five, six weeks ago, and then just a couple weeks later, they find out that, uh, let's see, Hades has cancer, so it's going through, I think it had a lump or something, I don't know, it's going through cancer treatment, so. Teresa's not coming up. Chris is going to be coming up, but I heard something about him just setting up a small tent. I'm really not sure. Uh, Johan's coming up, and, and maybe his son Jack. I, we're not sure about that either. My dad will be up there. I will be up there. My dad, myself, and Chris will be up there today. Um, Sarah, Zachary, and Johan will show up tomorrow. It's going to be a more typical colder weather, highs in the low 50s, lows in the low 40s, upper 30s. Today looks like a nice day, but by tomorrow evening it sounds like it's going to be rainy and Saturday might be rainy going out to the, out to the duck line, so we'll just have to see what happens. I'm not sure if you guys watched a previous video, but I have a different tent now for duck hunting this year. And when I set it up at the house, it's a used tent, but the seams were getting kind of flaky on the inside, so I'm unsure if it's real waterproof or not. So I'm sure, I think I did bring up a tarp. I think we'll tarp the tent before uh, Friday afternoon comes so that if it does rain, you know, I don't have to go out and tarp it in the rain. Plus it's gonna be chilly and damp and that second layer over it, you know, helps keep the tent nice and warm with the wood stove. I was reading an article online, I don't know, a few weeks ago and said that the duck numbers are down something like 21 or 26 percent or something from last year. Last year there wasn't that many ducks, but I just less ducks for me to miss. I mean, if we hit everyone we shot at, we'd get our limit every year. So, <laughs> I don't know, it'll be interesting to see. It's always fun when the ring bills are down, but uh, you get a lot more shooting then. Last year, they really weren't around that much. One question I get a lot when I put this video up is, is duck camp anywhere near the tent? And we're going a totally different direction. I would have to go north and east to get to the tent, and I am pretty much going straight west to get to Duck Camp. I got fuel. I didn't need it. I only had to put in eight gallons and I was full, but go in and get some groceries and let's head to camp. All the grocery shopping is done. I was surprised. Usually I'll get a whole bunch of Lunchables and they're always 99 cents. And now, and the, you know, that's for the ones that don't have the drink with them. And now the same ones with no drink in them, $3.64.
somebody behind me. I'll let them pass before I park in the road. Looks like over on Chris and Teresa's side, there's a tree that went down. Huh, that's the one that I hang the little lantern on. There's my nail. <laughs> you can see where it's burned the tree for how many years. Looks like the fire ring is still there. Somebody on the last video I put up joked because he, they grouse hunt up here and they've got quite a few actually this year. Told me somebody was camped here. Somebody took all my rocks. <laughs> Set the tent right back here like we always do. It's really opening up behind it. It's really weird because that used to be so thick you couldn't even see in there. I see there's a couple of trees down there too that I can cut up for firewood. I see some birch back there that I can get. And this tree here, I can't believe it. I believe this is an ash. And that thing finally broke off. That's some really good firewood. It's definitely chilly. I'm gonna need to put my long johns on. Water looks about the same level. Been coming up here for, I don't know, this is my 44th or 45th year. Never went fishing here. And this here hooks up to one of the biggest fisheries in Minnesota. <laughs> Could probably just sit right here and catch some nice fish. I saw one wood duck fly over. I'm looking out there where we hunt and a duck just took off. It's going up way on the other side. Because when I go out in the morning, that point of land right there is on my right side and then I go like this straight across. There's actually a tree that I look for that sticks above and you can't see it right now because of those trees but I wonder if there'll be a lot of rice or not that much rice this year. That changes every single year. I hear geese. They are way up there going across the white cloud right now. I guess we'll start by taking the stuff off the trailer and run down here and drop off the canoe so I can take the trailer off the truck. Clear a spot to back my truck in there, get that tree cut up, set up camp.
will go up here and turn around. Trying to turn this truck around is like turning around a bus.
Now I still have some tightening up to do, put some strings on the other poles, but that's the new tent. Definitely gonna tarp this thing though before tomorrow. Chris said that he, on his phone, it showed about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning it's gonna start to rain. Nice layout, if you guys haven't seen the other video, Sarah can sit over here. I brought up a, a fold up like six foot table for there. My cot can go here, wood stove right here. I mean, this is a 12 by 12. The other one was a 12 by 14, but by the time you got to the back of the tent, it was only nine feet across, I think, eight or nine feet. This is just a much better layout. I need to tighten these sides up though. Chris said he just brought up a little tent. And then, you know, of course, no dogs or anything. And then Johan will be up tomorrow. And I think Jack is coming too, it sounds like. But they not, might not get up here until late tomorrow. I'm not sure. Have that a, a different one, son? Yeah, I got a different one this year. Now that's good. The other one, you, 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 you got your juice out of it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's a used one too, but I'm not oh. sure about the the seams on the inside are flaking. They said it was that they sealed them a couple times, but I'll still probably tarp it tomorrow before the rain, just to make sure. Yeah, yeah. But it's got more. It's a 12 by 12, but the room inside of it seems way more because yeah. of the way it's laid out. Just coming in here at the living room in miles, it seems like 80 miles. It takes a long time. <laughs> How is Ernie doing? He's 86. Is he? And he doesn't, he said, he don't do much hunting. He said his grandson comes up there. Yeah, and he, her Ernie, put a stand up for him, and so he, he said, yo, yo, on, and the boy, boy, boy come up, he told me, no, I'll bring your own tent. 
Oh, really? <laughs> Apparently, he, 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 Johan and his kids went, went up on you know, the lake of the woods. Johan. Oh, really? I think not. And they had got a, a bunch of the antidotes. My girlfriend. So, so my mom might be comedy. Right, right. right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's so handy. Yeah, isn't it? You know, where that big tree broke off? What was it brought up to there? Uh, it's mm -hmm. like it's rotted above it, and then I think it died, and then this part went up. And broke off. I left the one part up because it still had a couple branches. Yeah. We cut the other part up, but the other part was big. I just think it was so heavy. It didn't look like it was rotted, but everything above it is rotted. Oh. So I think it died be. off, and then that was a branch. Yeah, yeah. I bet you a big wind came, yeah, and because yeah. that went the same direction the tree at your place went that we got out of there. Oh that yeah, went, you that's know. right. So it must have been something that went on. Now when that one fell off, you hit a another one also right yep we cut that up too so yeah as far as we could until our feet yeah. got wet and then we just left it so yeah that's a good thing i didn't go and i thought no it's like to took gun out and but i was just going to step out from away from the truck because i didn't have orange on and then here comes the pickup that turned in there <laughs> <laughs> but that one small one was it was a cute one. It was standing with a head up and was it? But it was one of these yeah, it wasn't that big. Yeah, you know, it was a, probably the baby, you know. That's right, yeah. I'll put, put, I was putting my stuff in there. I looked at the time, it's like it was 12.20. It was like, man, i got to make something, do something for lunch. So I'm going to put my stove in there now. And, oh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's, I can put a little table in the back. And,
I don't know where you'll have it. That's enough firewood for now. A bunch of it split. Two overnighters. Let's go over and see if Dad needs any help over at his camp. Oh, I see it goes fast across. Oh, yeah, that's here. I get it. You can knock them, they can go hand right after that. Those lands with that right wood are standing. There's a thing to lick them up. Okay, yep. yep. What do they use this for, just in case you wanted to hold the whole tent? Yeah, and it's a little hard. Oh, I see. And it's just hard. You should pull up some space down. This thing is very short.
I'm going to run out to the spot um, and make my thing. I got one more call at 4.30 and I'm going to try to get out there and do that before All right. uh, that. I mean, it's going to go out with you. I at least okay. can, I mean, you know, out that far. Let me see what's going on. Let me just throw this in on it. Be ready to go. Okay. It would be different if I had, if you knew where you had phone service. I know out at my duck blind I don't. You don't have service? I used to have better service out there. And I did too. I didn't have much of anything. I have a new phone though now. I wonder if it works, but. I got just got a new phone last week. I, all, I don't know what my sounds are. I don't have them switched over no, yet. I, I just got one two weeks ago. Did you? What kind did you 13. get? 13. Well, my brother Chris and I are going to get in the boat and run out to the duck hunting spot and just check it all out. I, uh, I'm going to grab my other camera. I'm not bringing this one out there. <laughs> just dumped the other one in the water, what, five days ago? It is wide open. No rice. Last year they couldn't even get a boat through this because it was so thick and we just had a tiny little spot to paddle through. I know nothing. Shit, I, don't think I've ever seen it like this. I haven't either. I mean, there's not even one piece. There's the tree. See, I follow this. There's those woods, but it's dark in the morning. And then that tree right there, you can see it, the silhouette in the, in the morning. And I head for that, and right below that is my point. Every year it changes. Now it's like a double point. I think it's that one is the one I want to sit at. Otherwise I can't see when the ducks come around. It'll be hard to see them coming around anyway because it's going to be cloudy and rainy that morning. But I'll go in here and see which one it is. It has, there's a little movable bog. I think it's that one that I usually sit at. Definitely going to want a few decoys out this time. Usually the rice kind of channels them for you. There's nothing to channel them this time. Yeah, somehow I'll get the canoe in here. So I'll sit right here in the weeds. And it looks like my brother Chris is going to sit way over there. I love this camera, how it can zoom so good. <laughs> it doesn't the same quality as my other one, but that is such a nice feature. I love it. Chris usually sits like that because they come blasting left to right here. Sometimes they'll come right to left, but very seldom. Usually it's left to right. They come by me, like say six of them come by. I'll just drop four and then let the other ones go into the bay and then they usually fly right over by Chris and then at least they have a chance to shoot some. <laughs> I tell you one thing, if you shoot a duck this year, it's not like it's going to be lost in the rice. I mean, they still might dive, but when you dump one down, you'll be able to see it. Well, I think I'll head back and get the lanterns ready. I think it's about 3.30 in the afternoon. Can probably get through there. Is it open enough?
right? Oh, yeah, four, four, four. It's a lot of with that. Oh, it's yeah, no trouble. Just, you know, yep, no trouble. Yeah, no trouble. I don't realize when I know how long was it today, how you know, how it starts to swoop all up, all up. So. A whole bunch of other stuff. Yep, I would go out there and split and split, and then when we decided to get the boiler, it was like, well, I better stop because I probably have, a, <laughs> I have enough split for in the workshop, you yeah. know, and then that will just take bigger pieces. So I bet you you're just itching to start put more than that thing. See well, the, the worst part, the only thing is though, once you start it, you can't turn yeah, it off. Yeah. And the thing is, now it's easy to look at. I mean, I just had a semi come in and drop off 12 quart of oak, red oak and white oak. So it's sitting right in there. Here's the thingy. All of this oak is sitting there. And um, that's fine. But I know what it's like when the wind's 40 miles an hour coming that's out right. of the north. <laughs> There's that's this much right. snow on the ground. So next year I'll build some kind of a shed. Yeah. And then I might still, I like somebody was talking what they do. They have a wood shed for it. But they don't split it right there. But they, 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 they were so. They're. They, 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 they basically. Just beat on bread. <laughs> uh, you're getting all your. Are you, you, you getting a good reception here, son? Yeah, better than I thought. I actually had two bars over there. Today it works. That Tomorrow it probably right. won't work. Yeah. Well, at least I got what I needed to get done today. So. I gotta do that too. Every year my mantles are broken. I had one that wasn't now, but then I had one that, oh, well, unless I get this, if the metal piece broke off and I put it away now. This little piece was broke off. It's kind of just welded there. So it's like, wow, I can't really use that. Huh. So I switched it out with a different one. I've got new lanterns in there too. It's like I buy them every time they're cheap. 150 bucks a piece or something. Really? Maybe it's 130 bucks. It was really good. Yeah. When that guy came in to put the, to bring the oak in. Oh, yeah. Look at this front tire. You know how they dug in all the lines? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I told him everything's solid, but when they put the, the boiler, which is right here, you know, they had to run lines to the all three buildings. Well, when he came in, he goes all around every, everything. And then when he gets to right there, oh, here, maybe I'll see it good here. No, you can see where he pulled out, though. Oh, jeez. You know, he went right there and it sunk oh. down. Oh. <laughs> he got about half that load out, and he didn't say anything, and then he backed that sucker out, you know? <laughs> Thought I was going to have to pull him out with a forklift or something. <laughs> yeah, it's neat when you look back at those old videos that oh, I, yeah. you know, because they would build, like, a kitchen between the trees. Oh, and that's all. Paint cast there yeah. and pans up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny when when you're old you don't realize the, the reason the, the, the old man stayed there. He wouldn't go, go in the woods. Oh really? Yeah, oh he yeah. He wouldn't because I remember I was up up the street or up the road about half a block and we were right in. It wasn't very far in. There had been some animals a lot fighting, either two buck or. Everything's tore up. And I could see him now. I said, hey, why don't you come in here? Then he said, oh, I can't. Really? Huh. You know? Huh. That's weird. He, that's oh, oh, Then I found out after that why, you know, when we talk on it, he, um, he, he, he stayed by my camp. He, and he goes sit on the bay. But the, the place he sat is before you go down there. Oh, it is. You could place. probably see camp almost yeah, from there. Could. Oh, yeah. 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 And, um, but he had fun. So. Right, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. as long as he's having fun. But he must have just had anxiety towards that type of a thing. And yeah. My mom. Right, right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I think I'm going to hop in my truck and go down the road a ways and walk one trail f for grouse. Chris just went to walk to the point, we call it, in the bay over there. Sometimes you'll jump a grouse. I think I'll go run. Sun is still up. Season's still open. 
Well, I jumped two and I managed to get one. Oh, it's getting a little chilly out there. I was across over there with my dad and Chris, but it's pretty dead over there. I think I want to start this up, just see how everything works. Went and got some killing. Because like I was saying, it's a little different than the other stove, because this one has an ashed drawer and a grate, and the other one didn't have that. Still feels nice and it seems a little bit more controllable than that other one that I have. I've just been over there for at least a half hour. Eh, burns that wood up pretty nice. And these aren't really good for long burns, but if you can put a log in there and it'll actually burn, instead of just small stuff, that's nice. It's getting chilly outside. I think I would want my head on the other side. <laughs> Ooh, that one has good batteries in it. I like this tent, I really do. with me um, for deer hunting that I would I would have to hang my deer higher probably. Yeah. yeah. I mean right now I I built my my deer pole is I think it's twelve feet high. The the, the top six by six is twelve feet high. You know since you I got two of these are just to take the ones that brought yeah, so well, what one did I take the broad? <laughs> <laughs> I was telling Chris when my mom had bought a whole bunch the other day from the dollar store. Oh, really? Uh, that might be a good place to get a good deal. And bigger time. You, you just well, put, put it in the cabinet. You don't got to have a refrigerator. Oh, really? And then, then you just put it in the microwave for one minute and that's it. <laughs> but, but and they were actually pretty good. Mom used to make dumplings once in a while yeah. when we were kids. But. 
We're, we used to have a lot of cities. You could, but we were all on welfare food. But she, you know, you always had flour in, but we had our own cow. <coughs> Mom we would make a big pan this today with the things floating there. You know. Really? Yeah. <laughs> There, yeah. yeah, is it? They have really good French toast there. That's what they're said they're known for. But oh, yeah. yeah, Melissa and them, they never have French toast down south. So I talk about it. And we had French toast once, and she was totally unimpressed. <laughs> she thinks Ouskak is the grossest thing on the planet. <laughs> Has she ever had it? Yeah, one time she oh. tried it. Just the consistency. And it's like that is like the best food ever. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I look at it now and it's like I wouldn't want to have a kid right well I, I mean I like Melissa says God I hope we don't have to I hope that when you die you die and you don't get reborn again <laughs> she, she says that all the time <laughs> Well, the night's winding down. Just making up a quick little dinner here. A little snack. <laughs> Almost time for bed. Good morning, everybody. Cloudy. The wind has picked up overnight. It's 6.38 right now. According to my radar, it's raining right now here. Just one little blip, but there is some rain coming. It says 73% chance of 0.21 inches.
while my dad was just over talking a little bit, he's going to run over and check his spot that he sits in the bay out. And uh, yeah, Zach should be here between 9 and 9.30. I don't know when Sarah's going to be out. I want to get the chainsaw and go in there and cut the rest of this tree up. There's the smaller stuff, but I still want to get it because the radio just said chance of scattered rain showers today. And I don't know how much, but... I was just over talking with my dad and Chris over at that camp, but the sky's getting a little darker. It feels a little bit chillier. I think there's a little bit more moisture in the air. And the wind keeps picking up a little bit and then dying down, so I think I'm going to go back and cut some more wood. I got the rest of that tree cut up, but then it started raining, so I figure, you know, I haven't tarped this yet. Let's see if it leaks. I can always put a tarp over it, and with this wood stove, it wouldn't take long to dry anything out. It heats up really fast in here. I don't see any water drips anywhere yet. Let's see what the radar shows. It says rain, 50 degrees. Now there's a 94% chance of 0 .30 inches. It just looks like rain all day, according to this. But there is a little spike in it, and then it drops down. So let's see what the radar shows. This is just one line going through, and we had a tiny little dot of orange, but if we were south of us, it was orange the whole way down, yellow and orange. I don't, I mean, there's some more out to the west, but that's way over in the middle of North Dakota. Some in South Dakota. I'm known in Northern North Dakota. So once this goes through, I think we'll be okay for a little bit, unless it fills all in.
was going to put a tarp on it, but then I thought, I'll wait and see if it leaks. This is the first time we've had any rain, so, and I don't see any leaks in there yet. But I do have tarps here waiting to go if we need to. Nice. I haven't seen the inside of it yet. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I really like the layout better than the other one. This one would be different than the one you already have? Yeah, it is. I don't know. I can maybe make the other one work since it would just lay over. But, and then it has this thing which protects it from burning the tent. Oh, that's nice. So, yeah. That's a nice tent. Yeah, I like it. I mean, I really do. I was, like I said last night, I was like, I really like this. I got in there, so it's so comfortable. <laughs> Did they have like a bad storm coming through because of all these trees? They must have, because there was a tree here, this one here that I always have the little lantern yeah. set on. Um, that one was blown over here and I couldn't get in. I had to cut that up. Chris had one over on his side and another birch tree that fell that was well, just exploded, you know. But huh. yeah, this one here, I might keep this thing. Cause I was trying to figure out how long we camped on this side, and I think it was some Sarah's side. Because we always camp together, and then it's like it seems like it's good. Um, I don't know if they're going to go and try to get into here. I said we'd take this whole bay, but I mean, whatever it happens, happens. There's no rice. So, oh, yeah. it's just weird. Like, you go, you, they'll be able to boat right through there. There's some duckweed they got to go through. Yeah. But um, otherwise, when you get, you know, you're going, and it opens up to where Chris Teresa, it's just wide yeah. open. Huh. So... <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll be, be an easy different. paddle at least. <laughs> right. And it'll be good to have a few decoys out this time because they're, you know, it's not just wherever there's a patch of open water. Oh, yeah. You hear more geese than ducks. Huh. You scared out. <laughs> huh. So. Yeah, we'll have to find out when she's going to show up or whatever. Because you guys will want to come out there and find a spot if she gets here early enough. Hopefully the wind will die down. I got a chipmunk hanging out. I got a squirrel. Oh, red squirrel, yeah. <laughs> I shot one girl since yesterday. Did you? Yeah, from that, I, when I was out there, it was like no wind, dead quiet. Like you were walking, you felt like you were sneaking up on them. And then a little bit of wind come last night, and it was just a little breeze oh. all night, and then this rolled in. I, I don't know what the temperature was here, but the van was reading 33 when I was going on that back road from like, where I live all the way across towards the Union. Really? Yeah. Yeah, there was a frost advisory up there everywhere in the North Hill. It's a lot of cold. <laughs> it only got to like... I should be set up good in here now. Plenty of wood, fire starter stuff, birch bark. Now I think I'm going to go out and some of them dead pine trees that are down. I'm just going to cut those up during the day when not much is going on around the fire. You can throw them on and they just kind of smolder the whole time and burn and then throw some good stuff on when you want to cook or if you're going to sit around it, but just something to keep it going out there. bigger pine that was close to the ground actually has some weight to it. That other stuff is pretty rotted, pretty punky. That's some good burning pine there. I 
I still feel like I don't have enough wood, but <laughs> that's good for now. Let's go over and see how Zach's going setting up his camp. had that little pile of firewood. Yeah. This was smoking a little bit. He must have had something going over here. Oh yeah, looks like it was. Maybe he tried to start it. Yeah. Bay. Yeah, maybe so. I'm sure it really gets whipping off the lake. Yeah. And then boom, it hits here and then it's pretty dead as it down. Oh, thank you, thank you. neighbor right you know but like when we have like kind of out we have we're on a, a thing of uh, paracord so she can run around but she's not gonna get in into trouble oh yeah yeah and then phoenix doesn't run around at all he just goes out there does his business and comes back oh yeah he likes it inside better <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah like if it rained out he'll just not go out that day he's like really good about it yeah <laughs> going to put up a fence it's because then you could just let him run. Well, he wouldn't. You would just put one in the front or no? You want to put it. Or, um, or fence the back yeah. Like from where the house starts, on the left side over and butt into the other neighbor's fence. Yeah. And then from the back all the way across, and then it'll butt to the garage and we'll have a gate in between the house. Oh, and the oh yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. And we'll just let him out somehow. And... Yeah, yeah, I do. Sometimes. What I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's. Um, but yeah, the other day I was just brushed against that. I was like, ooh! And it's like it moves around. So I wonder if there's like a bone chip in there or a little spur or something. 
I don't think I haven't heard a gunshot all day today either. The people must be out there. <coughs> I'll try that trail later on today again and see if there's anything with that one that I was there yesterday is there. But I mean, it was just right by the road. Otherwise, there was nothing the whole other walk. So. Oh, yeah, Chris is just going. <laughs> Yeah, he'd be able to see the deer coming for a long ways away. Well, Zach and I just went out grouse hunting on a few trails, didn't jump anything. Now I'm in here charging headlamps, telephone. I just pulled video clips off the cameras because I got to keep them in order. Like when I go in grouse hunting, I use the little handheld camera, so I've got to keep them in the right order. Or there's just in, almost impossible to edit the video at the you know end of the trip. Getting all that stuff ready, it's been kind of starting to rain again. It's a little after four o'clock, and by six o'clock, according to my phone, there's a hundred percent chance that it'll be raining. Bit, no, I mean in here. Anything in there? Yeah, it looks like it's pretty dry from what I can see. I have to make a little hole on the back side for my buddy heater. Run the tank through. You know? Oh, yeah. It's been raining probably a solid hour and a half now. Had a couple leaks in the tent, so I came out here and got soaked and tarped it. Sarah should be here any minute. I texted her a while back and she said she had 45 minutes to go. Water's just running down the road. Got that wood stove going in the tent though, it's nice and toasty in there. We made it! Yay! <laughs> Wood stove, what do you think about the new tent? I like it. It leaked in a few places. I had the tarpets. So I got soaked. Oh. It was leaking over here. Oh, yeah. On the laptop it did, and there was a few drops over there. Did you, like, spray it or something? No, they said that they had done the seams a few times, but then when I came in here and it was flaking, I was like, eh, yeah. I don't know. So then I went ahead and bought... Uh, a tarp just in case. I should have tarped it before but it rained a little bit yesterday was it or and there was no leaks but then when it started pouring it was like oh. uh, I was uh, texting with Melissa she said there's no leaks I says nope and I look over and there was some drops on my pillows so it's like oh no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah of course I had an art deadline today so Did I'd you? Like get up at like 8 a.m. so I can do that I got it done. That's good. I've never set it up before. Oh, that I got dripped on too. Uh -oh. There's a couple little wet drops on there. You know what? If it drips on me, it doesn't matter. Right, you're so in your own tent. That. Well, you're completely tarped over there now, so any drips are coming from uh -oh. before that side. This side, I couldn't do the whole thing because of the wood stove. But... Did Chris bring up any dogs? Nope, because the one passed away, the other one has cancer, and the other one is in school. Oh, really? For, yeah, something to do with all the dog shows. Oh, okay, that makes sense. It'll be like middle of winter, you're like, all right, so here's my update on the farmhouse. It's like green. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, we have winter coming, we have a ton of stuff to do. Yeah. See, I have watched. I haven't watched the one that we put the roof on the. Um, that's okay. So that's why I'm at with that. Maybe one time I did, but... Uh, yeah. 
I brought my food over here because our fire isn't working. Okay. <laughs> Grandpa heated his up and I'm like, I got burgers, I can't I can't do that. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. How was your drive, Sarah? Oh, it was fine. There was a little bit of traffic when I first started out, but it went away pretty fast. Seems like you always got something going on on the Friday before. It's hard because it's always the last week of the farmer's market, too, so it's like, there is usually something. What's my dad doing? What's that? What's my dad doing? He ate his food and... And then we were sitting there and his tent made a weird noise. I thought one of the tent lights broke or something, but all that water had pulled up on one of the sides. Oh. And it was like this giant thing. And then I was like holding on to him, like, can you like push from the inside? And he did. I was in the wrong spot, so I got completely soaked. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> but that's all right. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> But he was able to heat his, his food up on his uh, propane stove. So. Oh, he was. I figured if I had to, I would just take that in there and have uh, stew meat and um, Polish sausage and hot dogs and sliced potatoes, canned sliced potatoes, and just fried it all up. And I even brought up a couple cans of mushrooms because they had a nice little. Might do that for lunch. Yeah, I'll be good. I figured if it starts raining too hard, I'll just. Uh, they're having three of them. There was only three buns in there. Four buns. What happened with them? There were four in there now? There was eight buns okay. in there. I thought you ate oh, one. Eight. Eight. No, I didn't eat one. Yeah. I looked at it yeah. earlier. Yeah. I was going to slice it for the freshness, and I noticed some more. So yeah. it saved my life right there. <laughs> if you slice it, I'll bring it in pressure. And then we'll go in. like this, you, oh, you know, but yeah. but actually this with no rice would be perfect for like the first couple of years with the dog because when the duck falls they can see it. And yeah. the rice they can't. That's you know, true. so T bones, huh? Uh for the same thing. Sarah checking the doneness even though she'll eat it raw? Yeah, that's true, I would. <laughs> Come on, Sarah. You know what, I went, I finally went to a place and I told you this and I ordered a steak rear. And it was like, the texture was good, but like it wasn't as tasty. Wasn't it? No. Okay, so that's not good. Okay, this one looks good. This one I'm gonna better. make the long journey. Down there, drop these paddles off. I don't have to do it in the morning. Oh, yeah, we have decoys <laughs> over there, they have to go down too. But I can carry those. This is it just one bag? Yeah, it's kind of heavy, but mm -hmm. I don't know why either, unless some of them are filled with water.
I guess I'll see you guys at uh, 4.30 in the morning. Yep. Yep. Sleep well. Yeah, you do. All right, so I'll have some of this I need in the morning. So yeah, let's look at our clothes. I need to put some more batteries in these lamps. They were lighter last night. Yeah, I think so. I think mine was more the orangey brown. And yours is more the yellow brown. Well, mine definitely smells more like ducks than yours. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got these. I guess you can just kind of put them by your bed. So, you know. Oh, I do need to do a couple of those. Things. Well, we pretty much have everything ready now. Sarah's going to get her license. I'm going to run over and get my license out of my wallet and put it in my shell bag. I think we're good. Tomorrow morning I'll get up at probably 3.45, 4 o'clock. And uh, it's supposed to rain again tonight, but it sounds like between 4 o'clock in the morning and noon tomorrow, it might be rain free. Sarah? Sarah? It's 4.15. It's time to wake up. Sarah? It's 4.30, it's time to wake up. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. take much. I wasn't cold at all. 
I actually woke up and I was like too warm. Oh yeah, yeah. But I had put two sleeping bags together, zipped one into the other one. Oh. So I was like a little cocoon in there. <laughs> Toasty. Yeah. I feel like it's warmer right now than it was last night. It's like 50 degrees. Yeah, yeah it's going up to 57, so. I gotta go. Good luck. Good luck. Thanks, you too. So he was like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need luck. I'm happy. Well, I made it out here. It is a dark morning. I couldn't see my tree or anything, <laughs> and I could hear that boat coming up the river. So I just went straight ahead and then kind of veered to the right and found my spot. Turn on my little lighthouse beacon so when everybody else comes out, they know where this point is and they know which direction to go. Five nineteen, we can shoot at six thirty seven. Well, I'm all set up now, totally on a bog here. You don't canoe in here, you step on the bog and pull the canoe up on top of it. Got five decoys out.
How'd you like those mosquitoes? Oh, they're awful. I know, I had to put my face mask thing, I couldn't stand it. <laughs> How'd you guys do? We got two. Did you? Yep. I got a goose. Oh, you did? Yeah, oh. I blew it on another. There was some that flew right over this morning. Chris got one of them. Oh, cool. And they come right over, and I totally blew it. And then later on, I didn't even hear these coming. I'm just sitting here, and then they come over the top, and I dumped one. I had to go out there and shoot it a few more times. But, wow. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, what? we went out there, and um, the guys who are normally on that point weren't there. So we just went over there. Oh, really? <laughs> and it's, like, really nice shooting there. So you guys were doing all that shooting? Yep. yep. Oh, really? Yep, that was us. Wow. Wow, nice. Yep. What'd you get? I got... Can't really see. Oh yeah, I can't really see you there. Coming back. Yep. Oh yeah, nice. We think technically I shot them both, but Zach, if you want one, you can have one. <laughs> I might have a duck for lunch or something. <laughs> yep. Awesome. Did any of those geese come by you guys? No. Not Didn't they? close enough to. Shoot. Didn't they? The ones. Uh, I think the second ones that you shot at. By the time they were by us, they were a little bit too high. We were thought about it, but we were like, ah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Chris guy busted that one that was over there that I don't know if it would have came in or not. And then there was just some here that were just silent. Came all the way through, but down the middle couldn't get a shot and went off that way. <laughs> so. But yeah, I seen, what was it, sir? One or two boats from the landing went out today. That's it. That's, that's it. it, yeah. And I think that's why it's kind of slow right now is because nobody's moving them around. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I was surprised there was many flying around this morning as there was, you know, because um, there wasn't many people at all. Mm -mm. And then some person came to the boat landing and made the elk call. Right, I heard that. It's like there's no elk around here, so. <laughs> I, I told Sarah I should have dug out my duck call and right. like, me. Right. <laughs> uh, and start shooting. It could have been, yeah. A lot of times they would go over those people and they would shoot at them and then it, they would go behind us and over you oh really and now we kind of got them on the first wave right yeah yeah did any of them land in your decoys they were like setting up like it but we didn't have them we had them kind of close and we're going to set them out just a little bit because i think it gave us away oh like i they'd come in they'd kind of set and then they'd seem kind of nervous so they'd continue on oh really yeah. but then we could see they did land it was just I, I don't know what to call it. It was just farther out, so if we put our decoys a little bit like in between us and there, I feel like that might draw them in. Maybe, unless they were nervous about your spread, then they would have landed outside of them. Yeah. You know. Because we just threw them. We forgot, and we had pulled our canoe all the way up, and so we were just like... <laughs> did you? <laughs> we just threw them. <laughs> I, didn't I didn't even really. have the same bag as I did last year. This one has mostly <laughs> divers in it. Oh, yeah. You know, but... Um, and I, my one I had, usually I bring up, has two goose decoys in it, too. Oh, that would have been nice. There's a lot of geese this year. Yeah, there was. Yeah. Yeah, I should have filled out. There's no reason in the Well, it's nine o'clock, the kids went in. I think it's time to pick it up. Slow morning, but not really too bad. More shooting this year than last year on Saturday. I'm talking with Johan and his son, Jack. They got five this morning and Jack even got, this is his first time up here. He got a double, two teal with one shot. Landed right in the decoys.
not a bad morning. That's a pretty Drake wood duck there. I shoot three inch, but I thought it'd be a good idea to try three and a half, which was dumb. Because now my arm hurts like hell. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought there would be more geese coming by, and then there was one time when, when like I'm facing this way, and it, there was four or five geese that came over here, and I and I heard, didn't hear them coming at all, and then I said like, oh, honk, and I look over, and by then they're too far away, but they were way low enough. Were they? If I, if they would have honked over here, I could have easily turned around and shot. <laughs> Well, that one that I got, could you see those coming? Before I don't know I where shot? they came from. They come from the river? Or where did they? When I shot the one I got, they come yeah. right over the top of my head from the back. I didn't even oh, know they were there. Oh, they came from the other side. Just sitting there, and I was okay. like, and I look, and it's like, the geese are like right there. Oh, okay. Kind of going between, you saw where it fell, so yeah. between like Johan and you. And that's when I shot it. I don't know why I can't hit stuff when it's coming at me. I mean, I try to pull up so you can't see the bird. But maybe they're so dang close, I should just be aiming for them. I, I mean, they're like... I was even <laughs> thinking about it when I was shooting this time. But I put those three and a halfs in, I thought, okay, I'm going to be really careful now. And then I started doing the whole thing, you know, leading it, you know, like one barrel when they're flying and stuff like that. Well, then I got done shooting, like, the six times or whatever, and I changed it back to three inch. I thought, maybe the three and a half, maybe I'm shooting in front of them now. <laughs> right. You know? So... Is that just at 9.30 to see what happens, you know? So. I had to pee so bad. It's so your person, you can hunt till the dark, right? Yep. Yeah. For, 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 for funny, almost hear everyone, they hunt in the morning, and then they have a goal. It's usually nice, like, it's a chance for the ducks to come in there and yeah. rest, but I mean, you do hear people shooting in the late afternoon over on Sometimes. the floor job yeah. there, so. Well, no, no, you got them. My buddy over there was talking about that idea. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll see what they do. They don't know. They might they there. Oh, nice goose. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, he's a Benson. You got one, you think? Yeah. It's been a while. I mean, I remember the last one I got was up here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. 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 Pretty wood duck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they both came in at the same time and just lined up. <laughs> you don't get too many chances like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, are you gonna Chris get a mallard or yeah, Chris did. Oh. Yeah. Done. Well, fuck my goose. She just laughed. <laughs> I guess I don't have that pull anymore. <laughs> it's nice shooting the geese though. It was nice to have them come through today. Yeah. And not at, well at the property. They're all over it in the fields around the property. They're everywhere. Some places there's actually a season for them. Yeah. I don't know if it's... There is. I think that's <laughs> 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 easy choice. <laughs> I'm more like, get it done with. Right. Get it over with. Well, my palm just started to dry. <laughs> like, a well, when they're, well, when you start them, they heck up that the dirt they can see if it's not dried on the other side. They take it easier. Oh, I know. Still wet. What is this? Did Hack or he for where did he find it? It was sticky. hanging on a tree out there. You're getting firewood. It's, whatever it is, it's very sticky. I wonder. I bet you it's one of those uh, traps that they put out for. Well, it was look. It was like an envelope. But I bet you at one time it wasn't. Remember how they hang them oh, on the tree to oh, catch the bug on the yeah. sticky stuff. But maybe we want to try to if is it writing on it or like a prince or anything or very it says
There you go. Oh, there's mushrooms in here? Yep. Yeah. And there's hostess ho hos down there and some other kind of snack stuff that you like. think they just like pressed out their goose too? I think so, yep. I almost go down there and steal the legs. A lot of people just breast them out and only use them for jerky because they think they're gross. Really? Yeah, yeah I think they're really good. They do. Maybe I'll peek down there and see what I can find. Yeah. So I'll take them if they don't want them. Well, I just got done plucking the goose and cleaning. I got that grouse, which I just threw in the cooler yesterday. And then Chris shot one today and he gave that to me. So cleaned the two grouse, got the goose all plucked. We're going to have that for Thanksgiving along with a ham or something. Oh, I just got back here. So yeah, it took an hour and 10 minutes. Did you find anything else on this thing? These things, I say a thousand. No, well, years ago, did they still have these diseases? But, but everything would die, everything would, would burn up, and the, the, the new stuff starts up. Yeah, right. Solved, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This side of where we do the put the bolts in, but then I go underneath and wash them. Yeah. When I was under there, I'm looking off. I, I heard. I don't know if I heard. I, I heard one foot fly. Anyway, I, I happened to look to the right, and then I saw two of them come down, and then they went down, and they must have landed like almost where that water thing comes here. Oh yeah. In Woody's, you know. So I'm sure there's a few stragglers here, man. Probably. Oh, they were. You gonna cut wood, Johan? Huh? You gonna cut wood? Yeah, after it's kind of Okay. There, you know where there's some? No, but it can't be pine. Why? Because the wind's blowing that way uh -huh. towards your thing, unless we move it. All right, look at that. That's some good meat there. That's the best part anyway. Yeah, it's like that's nearly a turkey leg. <laughs> right. Very good. We're all legal. Yep. There is that place on 17, like when you're coming down and, and you turn on, instead of like, you take 23 over, go down farther and turn on 17, and that'll run you right over and then across 65, and then you take a left a ways and then you can take 22. And you go up there and it takes a while to get like all the cloth in front of that, no, a lot. Right. It's hard to get in, but once you're in there, in my pack pack, if it's warm, and here I put my, my backpack this side. Going here, I put my backpack on this side, so you have to stop the Oh, oh that's right there. <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah, I don't know of any. Yeah, I guess I don't know of any who, who, no one else that hunts them, no? Except Chris. Right. Yeah, and it's a big deal for a lot of people, you know? Yeah, and even bear hunting, where he is, is if he's that many bear, he, he said he sees them, you know, you can't, he, because you will see many of them, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. No. 
For, yeah. yeah, for me, it's just like you can just walk out and shoot one up. Yeah, but uh, well, I wouldn't mind shooting another deer, but I wouldn't do n n n nothing with the highs, you know. Oh, right, right. You already have because, the one. Because, you know, I'm not going to pay a thousand bucks, you know, for... Dad was just over here probably 45 minutes and now the wind is picking up a little bit and it's still a little misty like yeah like a mist not really sprinkling out but it's that wind it's getting chillier I want to split a few more pieces for inside the tent I've never been happier than to have that wood stove in there This is a good way to build your fire when rain comes because the majority of the rain runs off the outside of the logs and it protects your the coals in the middle and the logs can just burn from the outside. As long as you don't get a downpour where it starts puddling inside the fire ring, that fire will burn like this for a long time if you keep on stacking them, even if it's raining. It was so nice, everything was dry, and then, yeah, you show up right when the monsoon started. It's pretty bad. Everything is such a mess in here because everything had to be brought in here to be dried. This is Chris's grow something vest that got soaked. It's almost dry now. Gun cases were soaked. My gun was wet. This little charger thing that Zach got, that thing works pretty good. He brings it over here for a couple hours, charge everything up. And then he takes it back, but I want to get one of those. That thing works really neat. I know somebody's going to ask what book was Sarah reading because they always do. That's what it is. actually come in from the road and went through it's really windy and narrow really like a creek that goes out into the water oh really i didn't yep. know that yep. yeah yeah to get to that other side you could sit like at those cattails like or the cattail island i don't know i don't think flew over it much but there's a lot that landed over there and like we're swimming over there so really yeah well if somebody would have been there it would have kept moving yeah probably but you had a great point yeah. See, that's a good spot, just like where I said. You get past shooting, so they're coming by fast. Yeah. But you do get some to land, and the decoys are come close. Oh, bam. Yeah, like, I didn't expect landing at all, because they never, like, land, and right. no matter where I'm at. And then there's just, like, just coming down, I think, naturally, because of just how it is. Right. They just want to land there, and it was just like, whoa, the dream come true. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> you should really study. I did. I have a book. I have a couple books on it setting decoys for ducks yeah because you can set them up in the correct way so they come in otherwise they'll light outside of them yeah and they won't come in close to them so i'd like to know more about it it's like i don't know if i ever would put out like a hundred of them but it'd be nice to know what to do with like six or twelve right right yeah you can put out a dozen or two well, look at your of them today he had like four brand new mallard decoys and then maybe a half a dozen 
uh, teal ones. Yeah. And they had the teal land in the, yeah. in the decoys. So yeah. all you got to do is look it up, you know. The, and then there's a different way to do it with east wind or west wind, puddle ducks, divers. Oh, sure. And it's just so interesting. I've got books on how to rig decoys. And, oh, I would spend so much time with that. And Chris and I, he doesn't want to, like I told him, just talk today about doing a late season where we run all the decoys and stuff, he you don't know, have any interest in doing that because we've done it before many times. Yeah. But it was fun. It was cold. But to see a, a whole flock of like 30 redheads coming in at 90 miles an hour and just cranking down a land right in your spread. <laughs> That'd be really I mean, cool. it's a lifetime memory. Yeah. You know? So. I'd like to do late. The cold would kind of suck, but you'd see different ducks than we normally do. Yeah. Because like, what is it? Teal, woodies. Maybe a mallard, maybe ringbills if it's that year. Right, we don't even have ringbills here yet. I don't think so. No. I mean, I saw some ducks that came in at 90 miles an hour today. They could have been rings, yeah. But they weren't coming up the chute, you know, no. into us. No, it's like I'm thinking. There's that one time we were in Fergus, long time ago. It was a little later, and there was golden eyes. Oh yeah. And I was like, wow, that's cool. I don't see that very often. And we saw like a buffalo head like once. Or twice. I think it might have been the same trip even. It was just like, I'm like, whoa, those are different ducks. And it's yeah. like, man, it'd be cool to see different ducks sometime. I've shot several of them. And when you pluck them and eat them, they're like a, kind of like a wood duck. Kind of a plump little ball of fat. Oh, you know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. Delicious. I've got that one mounted. Um, the the grill we had at the Nelden house. I think it's bomb. <laughs> Which one? Oh, just the black one that's like longer. His charcoal grill. Oh. You still have it up, up yep, where I you're do, at. Yeah, I do, but it has a hole in the bottom of it. No! Yep, I haven't thrown it out yet. It's sitting on the side of the garage. You can have it if you want. Mm -hmm. You have to get a little piece welded on the bottom. Dang. It's Yeah. You wanted the money. Oh, shoot, but you didn't know. I had no idea. How'd you find out? Uh, I can't remember. Hmm. Back in the day, you paid 30 grand for it, which was really expensive That's back a lot then. Of money. Yeah. Four by four, and it was all decked out, and it didn't come with AC. What? And he said, I'm not buying this unless you put AC in it. And you have every other bell and whistle. Sarah, it's 10.30, it's time to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a light in there tonight? No, but it should be fine. I'm just gonna go right to bed. Sarah? Sarah? It's 4.15. It's time to wake up.
Sarah. It's 4.30. It's time to get up. When you woke me up the first time, I was dreaming about, um, like, just put together, like, the perfect top gun. I was going to eat it. <laughs> 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 dreaming about eating a taco. <laughs> and then dad ruined it by four fifteen. It's time to get up. I was like, no, my taco. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna Better last night. <laughs> yeah, I fell asleep and didn't wake up until I like woke up one time because my covers were kicked off and I pulled them over me and then I woke up on my line. Went. Well, I'm heading out. Good luck. Good luck. All right, let's paddle out there one more time. Well, with that little breeze this morning, it definitely feels chillier. Skies are to it is totally clear. It's fun to just shut off the lights, look up at the stars, and look for the satellites.
there was a flock of geese that just flew over and that was Zach and Sarah shooting. Well, I just picked up the decoys. This morning I shot three ducks. One of them dove, I got two of them. Female wood duck and a teal. Zach and Sarah are paddling over now. See how they did, get back, pick up camp, and call it an awesome 2022 duck camp. <laughs> I've seen them come, Johan and them shot a couple times at them and then they went your way. It's like, oh, there's going to be some shooting. <laughs> yeah, I loaded all my, my shells onto that. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you guys do? Oh, oh nice. Oh, oh, really nice. I shot three, but one of them dove. I, I got a teal and a, I think it's a female wood duck. And then there was another. They're like right there. But really? It took off. It was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it, was it was like stunned, you know. So it's like, oh, I could have shot that one too. Yeah. It was fun though. We got shooting both days. I mean, we got ducks. I mean, I think it was better this year than last year. Oh, yeah, easy. You know, so. Yeah. It's funny because yesterday they're all coming in my side. Wind is exactly opposite. Yesterday, the little bit of wind was going out, and this uh, today it's all coming in. So that could be part of it. I don't know, you know. Oh, and then we put our decoys out, and then like right before shooting time, a bunch landed right in them. Did they? Yeah, they did swim out though, so we didn't get to shoot at them. Oh. How'd you guys do? We got one. You did? Yeah. yeah. I watched it, so. <laughs> yeah, but, we had just one teal land in our decoys right before we were taken off, and that was it. So, really? Yeah. It was. How many did you get? Three. Did you? I got three, but only got two. The other one I watched it die, so yeah. when I was going after it.
a triangle, so I just kind of did something like that and then just kept folding it like I that. See. Yep, I see that. And then eventually I just wound it up and I got it to fit. At first I couldn't figure out, I tried to just stuff it in there. That didn't work. I thought I would just do half and half, but I ended up going a little bit past for some okay. reason like that. No, yeah, too far. Oh, then you feel like, okay. Yeah. That's <laughs> good. Where's that bag at? Yeah. It's the size of a small child. Uh, we have a dead body here. <laughs> <laughs> Place <or> breaker breaker. <laughs> what that is. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. All we have to do is strap the canoe onto the trailer. And just another awesome duck camp opening weekend. Kids are riding on the trailer like they do every year. See you guys on the next video.